So this is Updater Analytics running on the DTN IQ feed and this is a really super fast um, quick raw data feed with lots and lots of data in it um, and what's most interesting of all is that DTN have just added uh, UK stock exchange data and FTSE uh, data especially for Updater clients so uh, you have now a super quick real-time UK data feed uh, feeding into the Updater system great uh, histories there just double click on the uh, history you get all the charts, the you know, intraday data fully available, right down to one minute data, um, and, and this data loading really quickly here. So just powerful that this uh, data is now available to UK clients on a really super fast uh, data feed with UK prices, but of course, lots of other international exchanges, uh, US data, US exchanges, Forex, um, the whole thing there. So um, really, really powerful um, for updated clients. And of course, news feeds coming in as well from DTN. So it just offers clients a lot more um, dedicated into the updater system. So um, a really powerful aspect um, here. And you can just see the way this feed updates super quick. Um, you know, if you just look at something like a, um, a, a quotes board, you just see the prices moving around and changing. So um, that is just a, a really powerful aspect of, of having the DTN feed. Of course, straight away out of the box, you get all of Updater's normal technical analysis, so point and figure charts, um, just you know, uh, and, and normal point and figure charts there. Um, long histories, here's one of crude oil. This goes back now, um, you know, right back into the uh, early 80s. So for back testing, and we'll have a look at back testing in a minute, just really great long data histories there. So um, we really valuable in that regard. Here we've got uh, um, you know US stock data, um, currencies, um, you know US stocks again. You can cross compare that with commodity data from the DTN feed. Um, you know. The DAX index, lots of different futures um, available. Um, the S&P 500 in real time. Here we see uh, the FTSE 100, uh, sorry, FTSE 250, with all the constituent stocks feeding into um, um, a, a, a bullish percent indicator, which is a market breadth indicator. All the market breadth indicators available to you here, and DTN also have several hundred market breadth indicators available in their own feed. So really, really powerful. And of course, um, norm, the normal updater key presses apply. Just press the T key, get all the trends and targets on any chart just with one key press, a T key. And if we look at the scanning, of course, one of the powerful aspects of updater is the scanning and this ability to scan. So here I have my FTSE screen. Um, if I want to run a scan on that, I just go to the scan menu. Um, I can run a quick one here um, on balance volume divergence and I choose the list I want to run that on uh, so I'll take the FTSE 100 sector from IQ. These sectors by the way are all available in our quote screen libraries and I'll show you where those are in a second um, and this is just really really powerful um, so we're just running through and we're, we're a third of the way through and I can just cancel here so we can uh, we should just have a look at the initial results um, and here we see the divergence very hard to scan for this it's a quite a you know thing easy thing to spot visually but we're looking for stocks that they're doing different things from the volume so here we see um, a stock that's rising ash Ted but the volumes falling it's quite a useful scan um, to see big divergences there uh, if you want to get these um, uh, lists in updater they're in the watch list library under your quote screen menu and you can just go and grab the IQ feed once you configure the feed um, that, that's it there and um, basically in the updater menu you simply just select uh, the DTN IQ feed and that's where it's uh, um, you, you, you um, uh, connect from so it's under data feeds DTN IQ feed um, and um, straight away so just get a trial of DTN and we we give you details of that uh, on the updater link so um, coming back to the uh, to the to some of the scans uh, that was the one we just did on FTSE here is one we did on the FTSE 250 this is a point and figure scan so we were scanning for stocks that had more than 40% upside and we can just scan through the charts of these 
um, and again really really powerful these are all the stocks with 40 percent upside um, and we can just scroll through those charts and we can see out of the FTSE 350 there are 53 stocks so I, I did that on the the FTSE 350 list all the latest prices on of course coming off the DTN feed in real time you can uh, you can subscribe to delayed or real time um, but the real time is only uh, for private use only another $22 a month and uh, it adds a lot of value obviously for anyone who's looking looking at stocks very actively. Uh, here we see um, some of the NASDAQ data again coming from DTN so I, I run a scan on the NASDAQ um, and here we see stocks that have got 20% upside on half percent point and figure charts so these charts are slightly uh, smaller box size at half a percent log scale but this is presenting me with all the charts that have got that so you can then scroll through the charts and take a look at the ones that have the best looking uh, characteristics so uh, again a really valuable aspect there and we can see that in the FTSE uh, 350 there were 53 stocks with 40% upside on a 1% chart. In the uh, NASDAQ 100 there are 29 stocks that have got 20% upside on the half percent chart. But if we take a look at, uh, you can run the scans not just on daily data, you can also run them on um, 60 minute data. So I've run a chart on the, uh, a scan on the, uh, the FTSE 100 and there are five stocks on this 60 minute data that have got um, upside of um, 10%. So I'm just looking for where is there a quick 10% based on this intraday data. And this is the real value of this intraday data is that you can actually run those scans. So here's the legal and general. Uh, we've got uh, Lloyd's that one's not such a great looking chart you've got to go scroll through the charts to see the best ones Barclays there quite interesting and that's a 60 minute chart if I go to the uh, the 60 minute data we see that there but what I might want to do is go right down to the one minute data to see how this chart actually looks on the on the targets there press the T key again and I can see that I've got some sh short-term downside to, of anywhere between two and three percent so whilst I've got ten percent upside on the 60 minute chart on the very short term one minute data you can see that I have actually got a little bit of downside and having that ability to see the picture for timing is really really valuable and that's something that only really a real-time data feed can bring you so it's a really powerful aspect of the system there and uh, that does mean you can scan for 60 minute data you can really make the most use of this data and if we take a look at um, the system testing of course uh, many updated clients running system tests custom code over a thousand different indicators in our libraries um, all the indicators that have ever been in stocks and commodities pretty well it's in the library if you can't find it in the library um, we'll write it for you it's um, Updater has, has got over a thousand different trading strategies and custom indicators already in there, so really powerful. Um, so if I, this is one of the FTSE, this is a, a stop loss system, um, but we'll we'll run a quick test now using the uh, RSI. In fact, I'll just I can do that from the drop down here. Um, so I'll run an RSI system, and um, let, let's this is the code, all the syntax for the code here. If you haven't got into using this already, it's really very straightforward. Um, you can also write your own code in uh, C Sharp or Visual Basic and uh, you can in use those indicators there. I'm going to optimize the parameters here. I'm just going to backtest an RSI. Let's say we'll backtest on a currency. So I'm going to look at a 3 day to uh, a 25 day um, or 25, I'm going to do it on 60 minute data. So I'm going to look at from 3 hours to 25 hours and because I'm not entirely sure that um, uh, 30 is the right level to use on the RSI I'm also going to just step that up and look at 60 and 80 um, so I'm going to just use those levels either side I run the test I select the instrument I want uh, the DTN um, capability there is really is great we can just remembers all the codes um, and there's a the ability to search for codes in DTN is really, really great. Um, so we, we select that. I'm going to select 60 minutes. I could do it on any other time frame there, but we'll do it on 60 minutes um, and we'll run the test. So what it's going to do is it's going to run through um, loading that 60 minute history. And it's going to run a, a, a quick few passes through the data. Um, and here we go. So it's running the first pass, running all of those variables. Remember, it's, it's checking the levels 
and the 60 minute period so it's testing 3 all the way to 25 which we specified and I can see here already I'm getting some um, good results around 15 I'm on pass 5 this was a quick pass I could do an exhaustive test if I wanted um, and then we can go and look at the individual results you can take all of these out to a spreadsheet uh, summary of the trades and everything but here we see the chart and um, I can put the uh, signals on the chart here um, so we can actually uh, at, uh, see this um, chart. Uh, it's, it's saying use 16, 20 and 70 and in fact I can take that chart out um, and see see the, the full chart. And of course a lot of history here so um, really really powerful um, in, in being able to run that test. So um, and here's your equity line and the underlying equity curve outperforming the underlying quite significantly here so again that's a, a really valuable aspect of the of the system and I've just put the signal arrow on there and you can take this straight out to trading as well you can say alert me based on this signal um, and get alerts every time this system is um, producing results so again really really powerful um, and if we take a look at the uh, news here's the news from DTN um, so we can actually have a um, you know, a look at any of these headlines um, just coming in off the DTN feed a lot of uh, clients will be pleased to see the news um, in this service um, and are really powerful and you can just double click on any story and uh, get the headlines and if you want to search in DTN um, you can literally search for any um, ticker you want so if you wanted to search FTSE uh, indices for example you can just go and search so here we see uh, all the results that it's returned and there's just dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of indicators um, all the way to the futures um, you can uh, you can see so really really powerful if you want to find the stock you're looking for um, again that's really simple too so you could take a, a stock like um, BP um, search for that and uh, it will um, go through and here we see lots of different ones on lots of different exchanges there's the BP one uh, on, on the UK market and again it's L.BP double click that and the way it goes grabs the history super quick anyway why don't you take a trial um, of the DTN feed running into Updater or if you're a DTN user take a, a trial of Updater or indeed if you're not using anything this really is the most powerful system around for running technical analysis on a really really super fast data feed and it's really really cost effective as little as $60 a month for Updater users signing up this month so have a look at it um, and get your free trial now.